In this day and age, security is extremely important, especially on your iPhone. So today we're going to talk about an app that helps you out a lot by doing a few things. It will help block malware, trackers, and pretty much be a firewall for your phone, which is pretty amazing, plus this app is free. Now this is not a sponsored video, but the reason I want to make this video is not just because of this, but it also does something else. If there is a problem with a service that's crashing your apps, this can isolate that so your apps will open. Basically saying, for example, say Spotify is not opening or Pinterest and it's because of Facebook services. Well, if that's the case, you can use this app to block the Facebook portion and the app will automatically open even though no one else can open it. Pretty amazing. And you don't even have to have Facebook on your phone. It's just because Spotify and other apps go out to Facebook in case they have the Facebook login. So you don't even have to worry about that because now it's just going to go ahead and block that and open the app right away. Welcome everybody, I'm Kevin from HelpfulTutorials.net. If you're new and you like iPhone tips, tricks, and tutorials, do me a favor, smack that subscribe button and don't forget to ring the bell. The app we're going to talk about today is called Lockdown. Now again, I have a video that talks about how to open apps when they don't open. And that video does very well, and it works very well. But at times, there could be something else going on where the apps can't open. Usually it's Facebook services going down. They've went down twice in the last six months. So because of that, no one can get into Pinterest, Spotify, Tinder, all these other apps that use the Facebook login. So this will go ahead and help you bypass that. So if you were just watching that video and you're over here, you're in the right spot. <laughs> that must mean Facebook services went down for a third time. And if that's not why you're here, this is still really good to do to stop malware on your phone and keep you safe. The app is completely free, which is right up my alley. Well, let's go ahead and look more into it. There it is, it's called Lockdown. We'll go ahead and open it up here. Again, this is not sponsored. This is just a great app. And when that happens, it happens. It also says it's free and open source. That means you can get the code over 1 billion trackers blocked. And you could say, why trust lockdown? And it's going to give you some information here. Basically saying 9 to 5 Mac and Mac rumors. Those are two great sites. So if they trust them, then they're pretty good stuff. So... We'll go ahead and choose get started now and it's going to say stay protected enable notifications to get a once a week summary and the latest block list updates you can disable this anytime we're going to go ahead and choose enable this since it's only once a week i don't really mind if it was more i probably would not but the once a week talked me into it and i can always turn it off later if it bothers me welcome to the lockdown tutorial tap anywhere to continue I'm going through this for the first time as you are because I wanted to do this live. So let's do this. Firewall. Lockdown firewall blocks bad and untrusted connections in all your apps. So that's kind of what we would use if the Facebook issue was going on right now. Activate firewall with this button. Okay. The live metrics for how many bad connection firewalls has blocked. View log, show exactly what connections were blocked in the past days. Block list, lets you choose what you want to block. Example, Facebook, clickbait, ETC. You can also set custom domains to block. Okay, great. Secure tunnel, for maximum privacy, activate secure tunnel, which uses bank level encryption. Check connections, anonymize your browser and hide your location and IP. I'm wondering if that part's paid for. We'll see. Three dots are up there. If you need to get into the menu. And accounts get the following benefits. Get new block lists for trackers and ads. Access, lockdown, Mac and desktop, critical announcements and features. 
Uh, we don't need a second. Last two. Um, get new block lists. Eh, I think we're good. We'll we'll not do that right now. We'll test it out and see how we do. The first thing we want to do is go ahead and choose block list. And here it's going to go ahead and ask what we want to block. Uh, crypto mining, Facebook trackers, Facebook apps, which is what the one you're coming here for most likely, if that's the reason. We would just turn that on and save. Now this might cause problems with Facebook, so if you are going to be using Facebook, go back in here and switch it back. Even block game ads, reporting, marketing, Google shopping ads. Very interesting. You can even add domains. So we'll go ahead and save it here. And even though it saves, it's not actually on yet. So all we do is tap this button here. And it's going to say lockdown firewalls 100% on device. So it does not collect or transmit any data to any servers. Everything stays on your device. Agree. Would like to add VPN configurations. Okay, so it's going to be using a VPN connection there. We'll choose add. And we're going to tap to activate again. Oh, I hit don't. It'll ask you to your password if you have one. Viral active. Trackers, ads, and other malicious scripts are now blocked in all your apps. Viral active. Trackers, ads, and other malicious scripts are now blocked in all your apps, even outside of Safari. Get maximum privacy with a secure tunnel that protects connections, anonymizes your browser location, and hides your location. We don't need that yet, so we'll skip trial and we'll just stick with this. So we're going to go ahead and turn it back off. So now we have it back off and it's not on anymore. I just wanted to show you how to do it in case you need to block that and secure everything. It's up to you if you want to sign up for the premium services. I would just stick with the free service, the trial, because that's going to go ahead and block everything you need. You don't actually need the secure tunneling unless you can go with a VPN service. And to be honest, if you are going to go with a VPN service, I would suggest Shielded VPN. Personally, that's who we always go with. And they're in the description as always. Not a sponsored video, but I guess this part's an ad because it just came up. So <laughs> know that. <laughs> So that is the app. Let me know what you think. Again, if you are unable to get into apps because they keep crashing and it's happening to everybody, the firewall is what you want. You would go into your block list. You would turn on the Facebook apps beta, save it, and then tap to turn it on. And then you would be all set. If you have any questions, please leave them below. Thank you so much for the view.